All right, so here's what we got going on right now. Got the, the charge pipe going and the throttle body made. Cam's under here doing some uh, tacking on the V-band on the end of the manifold there. And he's gonna get ready to get it going over here to the turbo. And we do have a way we're gonna route the downpipes, don't we? Yeah. It's a good way. It's different. We're gonna surprise you all, but it'll be I good. I like it better. Yeah, I do too. I, I like we're, it We changed our original plan, so. But it's coming along good, guys. Nemo, turbo kit. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. Okay, been doing a lot of stuff on Nemo here the last couple days. Almost got the turbo kit completely kind of mocked up where everything's going to be at. It actually turned out really, really nice. Uh, the hard part hasn't been done yet of doing the, the cutting the holes in the fenders for the downpipes. But it's coming. It's close. Uh, but we've pretty much got everything else set where it's going to be at. Um, check it out. Looks pretty good. All right, so here we got the passenger side of Nemo. This is kind of how everything's gonna be laid out. We got the pipe going from underneath the car right through here. That way we didn't have to mess with anything through there because there's just so much stuff in there. So this is gonna work out a lot better for uh, you know just routing and everything else, keeping the heat out of the engine bay too. Um, so we have the passenger side over here. Obviously we got a pipe going in there using those cool Van Jan clamps. And then over here, we have the driver's side and basically the same deal, except on this one, we did a forward facing manifold, which just goes straight down right into the turbo right there. And then our downpipe's gonna go right up through there. So pretty simple setup there that we're doing. And uh, it's gonna be very, very functional and work super well. We are gonna be using the new uh, Motion Raceworks wastegate merges, which these help out a ton. Uh, but there's where our wastegate placement's gonna be. On the turbo, this is on the driver's side. Got these uh, nice turbo smart wastegates and uh, blow off valves wherever we're gonna put those at. Where do we decide we're gonna put the blow off valve? I don't know if you wanna keep them kinda hidden or if you wanna put them. I like them know, hidden. Like, uh, we like them hidden. Probably like. Uh, do you think they'd the fit right here? Uh, maybe not because the grill. Because oh, this yeah. is pretty close to the grill. Like, the grill's right with here. Yeah, that's true. So we'd have to check that. But I wonder or, if they'd fit on the top side, though. Uh, or, like, right under there. Like, yeah. right on the back side of where the, the radiator is, what I was thinking. And yeah. the sensors, you know, and everything right in front of those. So it could go in there. Or They would fit on the very top of that pipe. You could maybe even do like one. Like, right there. Both of them would fit. Yeah, you could maybe do one here, one there, both up there. Yeah. I think we'll figure that out. That's... Do you want them out of the engine bay? Uh, yeah, I don't want them in the okay. engine bay. Then, yeah, we, I know we yeah. can fit them in there. I mean, the headlight stops like here. You know me, Cam. I don't like a lot of stuff. Yeah. I know. All you're going to see is that four inch tube. That's one. nice. That's what yeah. I want. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I like that idea right there. It's looking good. Tacking all the aluminum off. Yeah. Good. Everybody loves these clamps around here. And we're using these style of slip joints on here. These are a lot better than using like a, a flex pipe. You don't have to worry about these breaking. These are super nice and uh, a lot more durable. We've got another one sitting right over here. Man, the polished piping actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it came out good. I Some think we'll just all leave it like that. And you yeah. thought it was gonna be all piece looking together, but actually it's well, all- Well, because you have- <laughs> Well, you yeah, can't but see it. Yeah, you can't see you that. You know, the, the polish is all from what you see in the bumper. Yeah, it looks so. sweet. Yeah, it looks really I'm good. Excited. All right, guys, we got the front bumper kind of fitted on. There's where the turbos are going to be sitting. Right there on each side. Can't really see the intercooler. Let's check on the blow off valve, see if we got room. Oh, yeah, up top there. Oh, yeah, we got all kinds of room. They'll yeah. be right there in the grill, too. So that way they'll be, they'll be able to release air. Not gonna be in like a real tight spot. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think that will look good there. Yeah. I mean, the only thing. Big. Oh yeah, they're super low yeah. profile. Exactly. The only thing you just gotta watch is that that top part up there. Yeah. See that body line. Yeah. Yeah. So we might have to angle them maybe. Well, we could do one down and one up. Yeah. Do that. Yeah.
So now we're at the point where we're gonna be cutting the hole in the fender up here. Should be a lot of fun. Good. Not looking forward to cutting a hole in my car, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna get right to it and he's gonna make me cut it, so. <laughs> All right, let's get it. I'm not... I don't know. Cam, what do you think? Send it. We want to go with the Want to go clockwise? Yeah. It's gonna dig, man. <laughs> it's gonna dig no matter what. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll cut this hole and then we'll measure off this cut one to kind of get the same location over there. But we're not gonna go through all this about measurement because we really don't even know where it's gonna go. We'll all just right, match so. the other side. Yeah. You think this will be too close up or should I go back a little bit more? Uh, just that rib. Just remember that rib that's like right in here. So it's probably like, I'd say right oh, there. Yeah, that's way up there. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's about right here. Yep, I would say if anything, you know, split between there to keep, you know, a little flat and a little in that curve. It's about right there. Yep, looks good to me. <laughs> you always got to second guess yourself before this. drilling a hole. I hate this. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, yeah, we got plenty of All right. in the car now hopefully that's a good spot <laughs> all right and also before any of you YouTube critiquers I've never cut a hole in a car before before uh, so uh, if I did it wrong please let me know in the comments I'd really love to reply back to you to tell you that I've never done it before that's it I think we did good though looks great yeah it's we'll, a clean, we'll get that teardrop clean, fixed in it's it. It's a clean cut hole, I mean. Yeah. I think it'll be good. Yeah. Didn't get too messy or nothing. So. Oh. All right, well, hole number one cut. So what we'll do is we'll measure, basically how we'll do it is we'll just kind of measure how far back to the center. And then we'll, we'll draw a line there. And then we'll measure from that line straight down and then that'll give us a, a center point to where that we need to cut the next hole at. So it shouldn't be too bad at all. But, all right, well, we have a location for exhaust exit. Now the exhaust. Yep. All right, guys, here's how the hole turned out on the fender. Obviously, we got that teardrop, so we had to, you know, massage it a little bit, but it looks really nice. Uh, we didn't mess the, the paint up or anything on it, so we're good there. I think that's going to be a really good location for the downpipes. Obviously, ideally, I wanted to run it out the back, but just where the turbos were and everything, it was just going to create a huge headache with getting the pipes back to the back of the car. So we end up doing this route. It's going to be a lot, a lot more simpler setup, and it's going to keep a lot of that exhaust heat out of uh, the front of the engine bay, which is where I don't want it at. So um, I kind of like this location for just functionality. And and uh, Cam likes it because it's- I get it's, to hack up another new car. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a little idea there for you guys where it's gonna be. So it looks pretty damn good right there, honestly, Cam. Yeah. It, it might look cool if I uh, uh, maybe have these coated, you know, like Cerakoted in black or something yeah. to kind of blend them in a little bit, so. Yeah, no, I, I would like that. You got all the black accents, too, so. Yeah. I mean, that would look great. You guys know me. I mean, the stuff's got to look good and function. So, of course, you know, we're going to be getting all this turbo piping off. We're going to, you know, do a lot of 
powder coating and trying to make this thing look as good as we possibly can. Uh, but yeah, Nemo's looking looking pretty nice. Location's good on the whole cam? Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah no problem at all. The other side's gonna be even easier just because I don't have the Yeah the yeah. yeah all the electrical yeah, stuff, yep. Yeah. I can understand that. We've been working a lot on the getting these down pipes kind of set. That's kinda what we're looking at right there. We uh this car's obviously off the ground right now, but there's clearance for uh the car to travel and not hit this. Um uh, but I mean shoot, when you're just driving uh there's plenty of room i mean the the tire can almost be all the way up in the fender well by about an inch or two and still not hit the pipe so that was the main thing we were concerned with but we're trying to get everything kind of mocked up and uh so that way we can take everything off and weld everything up got the wastegate on over here and then he is working on the downpipe to get it done over on this side of the car so we're looking pretty good guys um obviously this downpipe took us a a little longer than what we wanted to, a little bit more bends up there, but we got it, it's working, and uh, Cam's just working away over here. Yep, get this other side done, and all I have to do is just, uh, like the IAT bung, uh, finish O2 the O2 sensor bungs. Yep, O2 sensor bungs, finish the block valves, uh, cut the hole for the wastegate, and yeah. then literally just weld everything up so yeah and this is where we're going to be putting the blow off valves we're going to go up and down like that there wasn't room enough to put both of them there without hitting something so uh that should be a good location for the blow off valves right there nice and hidden no nothing in the engine bay which would be nice So we got Nemo over here done and turbo kit came out looking really good. Cam's been working all weekend on it. We got the turbo kit all done. Um, pretty much we just have to put the ice box in it, run the lines, run all the lines to the turbos, hook up the O2 sensors and uh, do a tune on the car. Other than that, should be 100% ready to go with this new turbo kit. Pretty excited, but uh, check it out. Cam did an amazing job on it. All right, well to start off, looks a little different there, don't it Cam? So we had to do the exhaust out the out the fenders on this. We were gonna go through the hood, but we decided to go through the, the fender uh, just to keep everything simple and clean. The clearance is, is excellent. Uh, lots of room up there for the tire to go way up, you know, on heavy launches or something. Uh, we're gonna try to get the wheel well liners most of the way in there. We're obviously not gonna be able to have the full wheel well liner in there, otherwise they'll just burn up. And then we go over here got the turbos down in the grill so they'll be getting all the fresh air guys i don't want to hear about oh you're gonna get a rock stuck in your turbo and blow up we ain't worried about that I mean, uh, we're gonna be drag racing how this many thing times have we had turbos in fresh air years now a long time yeah. a long time Never so we're, we're freaking tired of hearing about it no we're not putting no gosh dang filters on it we might put a, a turbo guard yeah. or something driving on the street but nemo really ain't gonna see a lot of street driving you know we'll take it up to a cruise night you know do stuff like that but mainly nemo is gonna be used for the track it's yeah. a tool at this yeah. point um we got the air to water intercooler up there obviously the other fender exit over there cam you did a really good job on the on the fitment on those thank you it looked really good appreciate it all right and then you pop the hood and there's really nothing to see other than we got the engine and turbo pipe, yeah. which is what we wanted. And all the sensors, everything, you know, we hit underneath. So it's really clean blow off valves there, you know, up here in the grill. Yeah, <clears throat> that's right. 
so yeah you just have a everything's got the the van jan clamps the yeah. motion raceworks clamps so no silicone couplers no t-bolt clamps on anything Nothing. Nothing. so it'll take all the boost yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all the, already know <laughs> all the boost <sighs> got the wide band sensor there we're gonna clean this up a little bit guys um we you know obviously are gonna powder coat this all black make it look nice you know my style is always make it look nice, still go fast and perform and function like it should. But we got a forward facing manifold down there. And then uh, over here, this one goes back and then back up around there. So looks pretty good. Cam did the V bands on the end of the manifolds there. That turned out really nice. But uh, oh, overall, one week later, Nemo's got. Yeah. Couple Low mount forward facing turbos with a nice air to water. Yep. All new. I All new. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Nice cold days with the moisture just puffing out right there. Yeah, how do we get to blow out the, the smoke rings? Uh, go to Oklahoma City and have Josh's Porsche. I don't know. <laughs> That's the only car I've ever seen. No, that. Uh, the one of the Boosted Boys cars. They'll blow oh, smoke really? rings out too. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah. I know Josh's car, like, it needs the cold start. It needs to be tuned, so it's really rich on cold yeah. start. But, yeah, I've never seen that happen. TikTok sure loved it. TikTok definitely loves the smoke <laughs> rings, for sure. We need to get them on the new exhaust. Everybody was hating on your your drill. Man, screw <laughs> those people. <laughs> hey, were so mad you're if you all are on my TikTok and you're making fun of my drill, cool, buy me a nicer one. <laughs> but that one cut the hole just fine. Uh, so I don't... As you can see... I don't know. That's just the internet these days. You guys are savages out there. Yeah, this this is gonna be the the freaking <laughs> pant hanger yeah. as you're walking by the car. That'll keep kids away. Yep. Don't kids touch don't, it. Kids don't touch. You'll cut your finger. <laughs> It'll look good too once we start running some exhaust through there and kind of get yeah. it, get it. Well, and then up. if you coat it in anything too, you'll have it all black. True. You know, it'll look True. really good in there. I don't think we'll have time to coat it before Bradenton. But I don't think we will either. I'll, I should have time to coat that uh, cold side pipe. Okay. Make I was it. Say, look, if not, you could at least just get you know that. Oh yeah. So that throttle body, you don't see those grind marks. Yep, we'll get it looking nice. Yeah, it's gonna look real good, man. I'm, I just love how aggressive that looks with the, that does. the turbos down there and that. that Trying to get a good, uh, yeah, good view of the turbos. Down there in the grill. Front end is just so aggressive. It is. Yeah. And what's crazy is like first glance, like you really can't tell. And then no. you're like, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Looks sweet. Yeah, it does. Came out looking just like I envisioned. <clears throat> this angle right here when you see like the turbo and then the teardrop man that looks so sick oh yeah <laughs> it looks so good right here that does look cool <laughs> cage is next <laughs> yeah we got it's got a cage in it but we gotta you got do... a freaking six point <clears throat> yeah that's hey. eight point is it yeah it's eight uh, point so you're gonna need more for sevens though <laughs> we are we'll get there Took the front bumper off to show you guys everything that uh, is going on here. So we got the two blowout valves right here. This is obviously the Cordis Performance air to water that uh, uh, Cordis Performance made us along with the mount. Got the two turbos. Everything's Van Jan clamped like I was saying. Got the, the one blowout valve here. The other one's actually underneath the car over there, which actually turned out really good. Yeah, good fitting, nice functional kit here. We also got Nemo's brand new carbon fiber drive shaft back from uh, Gears Unlimited. These guys are here in town and they make some really high quality drive shafts. And the cool thing about them is they, they can get them done pretty quick too. So you're not waiting weeks on a drive shaft. Um, but yeah, look at this thing. Very high quality. Um, we've been running the uh, Gears Unlimited stuff in pretty much all of our vehicles for over a year now. And, uh, the last one that broke on Nemo, it actually broke on this side. So it wasn't even actual the drive shaft that broke. It was the just the the end. So we've got the new ends on it. And uh, supposedly this one's a little bit stronger, rated 1,500 plus. So we're going to throw this in Nemo and Nemo will be rolling again.
ripped all. Yeah. And uh, got to put the ice tank back now. there. <laughs> not not bad. I mean, Cortez makes it easy with the direct fit six gen ice tank. Yeah. We've already got all the lines ran. Um, really, you've yeah. you've done everything. Boost controllers hooked up. Yeah. Uh, all the CO2, all the all the heat wrappings all done. Uh, yep. Everything's been relocated over here, uh, way because there used to be a bunch of wires going through there. So we relocate all that. Um, so it's looking pretty good though. Yeah. She's done a really good job. We got the charge pipe powder coated black, make it look a little nicer there. So that's all you'll see under the hood is just that one pipe. So it looks good. Much better than that silicone. For sure, for sure. And then the, the up pipe from the other kit made it extremely hard to change the back spark plug. Like, oh yeah, it took a couple, <laughs> about an hour just to change I, one plug. I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> now it's just yeah. clear as the day just back there. The hoses and you're good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, we got the water lines hooked up. Yeah, this one will basically be depending on how long our fittings are. It kind of left some extra length, but we'll come in, wide in, and then both to come out and then the y is on the back side of the radiator because can't bend this hose too much or it'll kink and you did the oil cooler delete deal uh actually no because the lt4 pan is different oh so basically just leave it on there and i looped it back into itself because on lt4 is different than lt5 dry sump because the cooler is actually part of the pan Ooh. it has that big seal around it that's how the oil goes through. Yeesh. So you just leave it on. Yeah. Like the teal truck, we did the holly pan and it yeah, it the didn't. Bolt. Yeah. So that's why we put it on there. So I don't know if you can see, but the two lines that come up from the cooler, they go into the bottom of the radiator hose, and then it comes out of the top and it goes through the exchanger over here on the passenger side. Gotcha. The other hose, I just route it back into the radiator. Okay. So it's just kind of like a, a loop, in a sense. So the, the oil cooler will actually still work. It just doesn't have the extra exchanger. So. Well, definitely, I don't know if you know, but we probably need to put some heat wrap on that there for that uh, steering. The boot. Oh yeah, okay, we'll wrap that. Yeah, we Everything to gets so it. hot, guys, whenever you got exhaust yeah. running right by. You don't realize how hot this stuff gets, but it gets mm -hmm. so toasty hot. And before the turbo is much hotter. Yeah, way hotter, <laughs> way hotter, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Especially when you're pushing, uh, you know, 1,500 horsepower. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pop that loose and wrap it up. All right, guys, time to fire up Nemo. We're gonna let Steve do the honors today. See how it sounds with these new turbos, the new downpipes and everything, should sound pretty good.
Yeah. Boy, she fired right up, Steven. Yeah. I would check the Holly tune because the battery was so dead. Oh. It might have been just the DI running. Oh, yeah. You remember, like, the C7? Well, the DI is always, always just running until it gets above certain pounds. Well, you know, the Holly will lose its tune since your battery was dead. Oh, before. yeah, 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 for sure. So, yeah. A lot louder because the stop is up. <laughs> Sounds good, though. Yeah, it sound It'll good. probably be quieter in the car, though. Yeah. Less drone you from the bottom. Less drone, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be it's loud it. no matter where you're at. Yeah. It's going to be loud. That was it burning all that. I can't off. wait. I can't wait for it to uh, shoot out the fire you know, out you, both fenders. Somebody lose their hat walking by. Somebody's going to walk by. The exhaust going to blow their hat off. Yeah. 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 Lots of air pressure. There's Nemo in all of his new found glory. See the turbos poking out over there. Still really clean just underneath the hood. Real simple, nothing crazy. Just how we want it. Really the only extreme thing on it is the downpipes on the fenders. Some people ask why we didn't make them go down there. Well, the other side over there is where all the holly stuff is and everything. And we didn't really want to relocate all that. It's in a really good spot where it's at, so had to do right there so i think it turned out really good what do you think steven yeah it came out clean and you killed it the last couple days while <laughs> i've been moving yeah trying to grind to make got, it got it done so. even came here in the middle of a snowstorm this morning just to get it finished yep we had to yeah. overnight overnight some parts <laughs> yeah a couple times some big fittings borrow some parts yeah so no we got the pump we needed and all the fittings the hose yeah. just came out nice really clean so. install yeah, no, it came out turned, pretty good. Turned out really nice. Well, so I guess you... the only thing next is just hopefully it all runs. Hopefully yeah. it all comes together. No, it should be good. And once you get down there, do some street driving. Yeah. See how it likes. See how it likes everything. Cool. Well, say we get loaded up in the trailer. Harry, you ready to 18 hour drive it to Florida? Well, we got to do it. Yeah, we have no choice, <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, cool. Time warp.